Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to do, yes it's cold, a <laughs> uh, combined review of the new gimbal that I'm using right now and the Xperia 1 Mark III's free camera video recording applications because you might have seen my last video video pro is now also available at least unofficially for the xperia one mark iii so let's get started the app that you see right now is the normal photo pro app in video mode and i'm using my new gimbal i can blend in maybe a small little video it's a Xion smooth x which is like only a two axis gimbal but that should help in stabilization on some smartphones that don't have any stabilization and also i hope at least on the xperia lineup with the cinema pro app that has let's say a weak stabilization so I am using the Photo Pro app for video recording right now, but you also know that there's a Video Pro app newly arrived on the X-Pro i and also backported or at least the APK extracted for the Xperia 1, 1 Mark II, 1 Mark III and the 5 series. And uh, last time I tried it out in my Honor 50 verdict, I'm not sure if it's released yet or not. Anyway, you will see in my Honor 50 verdict that it had some focus hunting and I usually don't get this with the Photo Pro app. So I wanted to do a little comparison, almost the same lighting uh, as uh, the day when I recorded my Honor 50 verdict video. So it might have something to do with the lighting as well. It might have something to do with the distance that I have. I was using the same gimbal right now. I was using it a little bit using it a little bit closer up to my face. Now I'm using it fully extended to see if this might work a little bit better with the yeah, Xperia 1 Mark III. So this is the Photo Pro app, 1080p 60 frames per second it should be, and I will switch to the Video Pro app to see if focusing is really worse with the Video Pro app on the Xperia 1 Mark III. Let's start. Now the Video Pro app. The Video Pro app I set to 1 over 120 uh, shutter speed and 60 frames per second 1080p. This is what you can get so you have the smooth animation or smoothness in the hands or movements in general and I used this also in the past. Maybe it has something to do with the frame rate and the combination of frame rate and shutter speed that it has this focusing hunting issues or just simply me not being in the frame in the center of the frame could be as well because I think the Xperia sensor has more uh, focusing points in the center and not so many on the side so I hope this will work a little bit better when I'm in the center but I think for vlogging I might even like go like this with a selfie stick and run around you can see a little bit more of me and uh, yeah in general I think this is a very good application here and there I would wish it uh, to have a little bit more functionality especially for example to turn on face detection or see it at least and so it is focusing always on your face and doing also auto exposure on your face apparently it is doing this automatically and i would wish that there would be an option to set this up or maybe like even uh, fix focus stuff on the face and if the face is lost then it should go to autofocus such a setting would be very very cool to have so sony if you're listening this is my little wish list for the video pro app otherwise uh, let's try out now cinema pro uh, hopefully this will work out. I think under this uh, lighting conditions, uh, very fairly the same lighting conditions, nothing big changes. And now, oh, big bump. Is the gimbal working? I think it's working nicely. Huh? And uh, yeah, this is the Video Pro app. Now let's try out Cinema Pro and a 21 by 9. So now you can see me in 21 by 9 Cinema Pro NA look. So no extra LUT on top. It should be the cleanest look that you can get on Cinema Pro. And how is it with the gimbal? A 21 by 9 aspect ratio. So it is, I have to move a little bit quicker, maybe now the ultimate gimbal test because there's some frisbee golf going on here. So people are trying out, maybe you can see it in the background there. People trying out uh, frisbee golf. So they have to hit the target with a frisbee. Uh, I think, I hope it is also called frisbee in your country. Anyway, uh, so very nice. And yeah, this is Cinema Pro. 
and uh, 21 by 9 2k resolution uh, 60 frames per second and also 180 degree shutter rule applied to it which works nice I think also in this uh, lighting conditions otherwise I will check the footage again and see if it's maybe a bit overexposed um, yeah this is stabilization with this gimbal I think this gimbal also has and features an app that I can also try out it has some extra features as well because it has a nice little joystick and a record button and this allows me to do also some stuff which is uh, pretty interesting so just for the fun of it, let's try out the uh, Zion app as well. And now we're recording with the Zion app and I can do things like uh, show you a bit around where I'm walking here. So I have the possibility to turn it around if I want to in various different directions and turn it back to me and it should be recording everything nice and stable. Uh, I can also go into portrait mode if I want to, it looks like this and landscape mode as well as uh, twisting and turning it around like this for example uh, which yeah i'm not sure if it's helpful but it's a two axis gimbal so this is what you can expect in terms of uh, things that you can control here uh, it has a record button where i can record and stop stuff and the mode button where i can switch between the different modes if i want to and yeah this is working fine so far I think it's a nice little gimbal stabilization is working nicely the app I think by default is using 1080p 30 frames per second so you can go up to whatever, whatever the camera API gives it so I think it's 4k 30 uh, maybe 120 frames per second as well I'm not sure I have to try this out but there will be a dedicated video regarding the Xeon app as well because it's a new app it's not the same one that I used on my uh, real other gimbal the free axis gimbal this is only two axis gimbal so this is a nice little recording and uh, yeah, tell me in the comment section what kind of video software worked best for you, what worked best for the autofocusing and which one was hunting. I think the Cinema Pro app has a big problem with the autofocus and hunting. So this hopefully will be addressed in the future and the Video Pro app hopefully is working fine this time around. Otherwise I have to stick to the Photo Pro app and its uh, video mode for the Xperia 1 Mark III because it just offers a better autofocusing system. I try to keep myself in the frame in the middle because there are more autofocus points but still uh, might be an issue. So write down in the comment section what you think about it. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.